I was worried that I wouldn't have a recipe that I could actually drink myself. Now I am bottling spirits with a lot more love and a little less anxiety so the spirit can shine even more. When people try a spirit that just lights them up, it's like a sense of achievement, it's a reward. It's like, oh, yeah, that makes me extra happy. I am Heidi Wachens and King Island Distillery. There's something in the water And I'm drinking, I'm drinking it right up So I'm really proud to say that I'm made on King Island and growing up here on the dairy farm very much hands-on with mum and dad it formed a really key part of who I am today this whole thing came about because some locals said to me, do you know how many apples are going to waste on the island? You should really fix that. So I wrote a letter to the expert in the industry, Bill Lark, and he rang me and said, come down to Hobart, I'll tell you all about the distilling industry. It felt unbelievable. So when I registered my company, King Island Distillery, on the 1st of October, 2014, I was the 10th one to establish in Tasmania and the very first distillery on King Island. There's something in the water Don't you want to go? The very first time that we turned on the copper stills, Shane was there with me the whole way and we were tasting and smelling and the alcohol comes out at 80%. And so after 12 hours, that is a huge test. And um, yeah, it, uh, it certainly made us stronger distillers. <laughs> we were probably relieved because I don't think we could have drank another drop. <laughs> To have that spirit made and done and dusted was just amazing. And Shane and I were just like, yep, this is it, we've done it. Woo! Happy, happy, happy. Seven years on, it's really important that I'm supporting local. I buy local rainwater called King Island Cloud Juice. It tastes like the best water you've ever had. I think that we are the only distillery that actually uses rainwater for our distillation. It's amazing stuff and I think he's the only one that bottles it in Australia. I handpick the native botanicals from the coastline of King Island a place that I love to be with the fresh air and the wild wind and the surf. They really are the key ingredient that creates our native gin. I'm not a technical distiller. I basically run on instinct. It's an obsession. It's all about experimenting and that's all part of the fun. The barrel aged gin, for example, was something completely different. It was aged on a cray fishing boat and it worked. When I'm creating and distilling a spirit, my heart goes out to the consumers. I want to be able to connect with them. I want them to be able to taste it and love it. It's not about being judged by professionals, it's everyday people that we want to please. I absolutely think it's a real surprise for people to be able to drink a fairly strong spirit, neat, and enjoy the experience. They're like, oh, yeah, this is not bad. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's humbling, it's exciting. It's like, yes, the goal has actually been achieved. It's like, oh, yeah, 